is Black Desert pay to win? For some reason, a lot of people, when asked this question, can really mutter uh, like a coherent answer to this. And that kind of baffles me because I feel like the answer is pretty easy. I feel like it's quite easy to understand that this game is in fact paid to win and it's it's so easy to find out like you let's let's just go to the pearl shop okay the magical pearl shop and let's just take a, a little bit of a cruise you know let's have a cruise through all of those uh sections right here and let's see what can you actually get in exchange for real life money so first of all it's pretty clear you can buy uh pearl boxes using like uh coins which you buy coins using like uh real life currency right so i whether it's dollars euros or whatever you gotta buy those coins in exchange for those coins you buy pearls the exchange rate for eu is something like 10 euros 1000 coins so you can tell if it's like 3,000 uh, coins, it's 30 euros, okay? Now, we're not gonna be talking about like, like, first of all, even if it's affordable or not, I feel like it's even worse if it's not affordable for the like a normal person, okay? If it's just the whales, it makes the situation somehow worse. But like the prices don't matter here it's like what are you getting in exchange for it okay first of all i would like to go with the obvious thing uh first we got weight so like weight is a very important stat in the game because this allows you to grind for as long as possible uh without having to like reset or like just go to your horse leave your trash loot or like have to leave the spot it's like wait they rarely ever give you a uh, wait for free and you can exchange it for pearls and you can get a shit ton of it as well it's so, like right here if you buy all of those you're gonna have like at least double if not even triple the weight of a normal character that hasn't paid a penny right so weight is one thing now a lot of people right like to argue pay for convenience convenience does like everything you pay for is gonna be convenient for you like that i feel like that's a pretty dumb thing to say though uh then we got inventory slots now with inventory slots a lot of people will argue that uh they're gonna give you those for free so like basically your inventory is limited you have like 80 slots out of 192 and uh basically lately they've improved the inventory a lot so like it's really hard to fill up all of those slots and obviously those are a lot cheaper as well even though that doesn't matter but like they also give them for free in the game from time to time however the problem is that you are actually just gonna be waiting for them like if you want inventory slots you're gonna be just like playing for months on end while someone with uh you know a lot of money would just come in and just buy it on one day all of it and just have full inventory slots maybe on all characters as well so even though you get those for free from time to time like right now look you even have a one plus one pack with 16 that's like 32 inventory slots at the price of one awesome right so even though you get those for free i still think it's kind of shitty and pay to win because you can just get them in one day as opposed to like a few months to say the least now let's talk about um other stuff first of all this is one of the worst offenders of the pay to win market i'd say uh this and uh we're gonna be talking about costumes a little bit later but first of all artisan memories they are absolutely insane right now so what like basically your items lose max durability when you fail an upgrade and in order to repair the max durability you're gonna be using artisan memory like uh, sorry you're gonna use uh memory fragments so, and memory fragments you're gonna need one memory fragment for one max durability on an item 
However, if you're using artisan memory, you can use one memory fragment to repair five max durability. So it's five times as efficient if you buy this pearl item. Okay? So what does that mean? You, it means you need five times less memory fragments when you're uh, repairing your items. Now let's check. We see on the market that memory fragments are plenty. You have 120k. However, they're really expensive right now. Like on EU, you got like the bottom ones cost like 4.3 million a piece. So if you lose 100 max durability on an item, you're gonna be you're gonna be needing like 430 mil just to repair the item once. And not to mention that when you're upgrading Fallen God, you lose, I believe it's either 30 or 40 durability every single time you fail. So that means like you only fail, like in my case, if I fail on the Silent Fallen God armor, I will only be able to click on this item about like four or five times before I need to repair it. So like I'm only allowed to fail four or five times at best. Which you're gonna be failing a lot more, at, especially at the point where I'm at. You're gonna be failing. Um, and then you're gonna be paying 430 mil. Or if you buy artisan memories, right? As I explained, in that case, you will pay five times less. So what does that mean? It means you're gonna be paying like 80 million every time you're repairing. 80 million for one full repair on the armor if it's one hot like that it, it's freaking insane and that's 100 uh the fallen god one as you could see you have like 160 durability okay so we're talking about much more than 100 um okay this is obviously gonna like it's it's literally the same concept as like purchasing silver you're you're not buying silver directly you're just avoiding to pay more silver. So at the end, the result is the same. You still, you end up having more silver because you paid real life money to get the object on the pearl shop. And there you have it. Now, there is also like very small stuff, for example, alien tears. Now, those uh, aren't like absolutely needed. You can also craft those, uh, but you can also just buy them with money and they're pretty cheap and like what do those things do every single time you die you lose exp and you have to go back to the node like uh, the, which sometimes can be pretty close to the place you died sometimes it's very far so like for example uh, giffen under if you die in giffen under if you don't have alien steer you're gonna be walking a bit uh so like alien steer makes it so you, you can revive on the spot which is gonna win you time. Uh, by winning you time, you can probably get a little bit more money or like whatever. You know, you're not losing that time walking, first of all. Second of all, you're, you're regaining your EXP back. So basically, the EXP is not lost. That's also a thing. Um, then you also have uh, like, um, in, in case like something's going on, you know, like uh, in this case, this is the small alien tier. Uh, it gives you only like 20% uh, of your HP back when you get back up. Uh, but there's also the version which gives you like 100% uh, of your HP back. Um, so basically, if you're fighting somebody, you can like immediately just go back at it. You know, you just fight. You can keep fighting. Um, now, you also got stuff like, um, like storage uh, inventory slots. Those are also pretty bad character slots. Like, you cannot have as many characters as you want. You need to purchase those. Like, I think right now, the maximum you can have without ever purchasing this is probably around, like, 8. Um, personally, I've been playing for a shit long time. Like, it's 10 years almost. Uh, like it, it's, a, it's around, like, I don't know, 8, 9 years. In 8, 9 years, I have most, if not all, of the slots. I bought them for dirty chip or like I got them uh, using loyalties because you can go here and purchase it with loyalties. But this is 
this is unreliable let me see where do we got it i actually bought the one from this month as well so you got like 10,000 loyalties which is gonna take you quite a while you get 200 loyalties a day and sometimes they give you like uh, i don't know from 1k up to 3k loyalties uh depending on like certain in certain events okay so like there's a chance you can buy this one it resets every single month so like it is possible for you to actually get those for free but again it takes you like freaking years to get all of the slots if you will get all of the slots at all uh also in the past they used to give one character satisfaction coupon every time a new character came so like they gave it out for free now they don't do that anymore at least not they didn't do that in the lately uh so yeah that also sucks but then again i was saying about storage expansion now storage expansion also uh saves you a lot of uh stress and stuff so like you can it can also net you in game money how first of all you got a contribution uh contribution you can use it for all sorts of different stuff which uh actually gives you like some sort of silver in exchange it depends like what kind of stuff you like to do for life skillers having extra contribution is always great life skillers will have workers working in every single possible node and they will make a shit ton of silver out of all of the stuff being gathered so the more contribution the better now if you buy like storage slots like for example let's just go on a random storage so right now uh not counting the fact that i have a value pack on as well which we're gonna be talking about later uh in odroxia for example no, actually let's just go to uh say ulukita right in ulukita because it's new and it's fresh so we can actually see the so this is basically the amount of space you have in storage when you start out the game this is it when you have uh like a value pack and then it just cuts up to like um let's see it should be cutting 16 if you don't have a value pack so like 16 that would be like uh let's see those nine with this it's 14 and then uh right around where my mouse is sitting right now this is as much inventory as you have like it because like i believe uh it gives you like 16 slots right let's check it out uh value pack storage slot 16 so like that's you have barely two lines of slots so what you need to do is spend contribution so like uh look for example i bought all the storage so i i'm not using the contribution for any of that but if you go you would spend like say two contribution for like five slots in storage here and so on so like you buy uh storage slots with those contribution points or you could just like purchase the pearl ones and just make use of the contribution for your gains now let's uh let's continue this is we're just warming up right now okay there's there's it's getting worse okay trust me so we now that we have that we also got um item brand uh, spell stone so if you're gonna wait it out for months and months on end you might get enough item brand spell stones uh for every single piece of gear you have so like what does this do basically it makes your gear significantly more durable like you if you would break your gear while fighting mobs like during your grind in like say one hour if you use this it's gonna boost it up to like say three hours now now you're gonna fight for three four hours before your uh gear breaks it really depends on the spot as well but uh the ratio is kind of like that it's like at least two three times better uh with this uh brand spell stone on so you either wait it out and you pray that they give you at least eight of those in order to put it in like uh you know the main gear pieces and stuff like your weapons your armors so i said eight but you need like kind of seven right because there's three weapons and four armors and if you want for more you would need at least uh like six more for the accessories right so like a total of 14 of those well you can just buy it you know you, you, you can get six for uh 2k points and uh there you go 
and now you can sit and grind for longer without being disturbed. Uh, then if you go to travel aid, we have the absolutely, this is literally, like, this is literally a monthly subscription at this point. Like, you pay, like, 1,500 pearls is literally, uh, like, um, what's, 15 euros or something like that. However, however, you can't, you can't buy, like, 1,500 pearls. You need to buy 2,000. So, like, every other month, you need to put in 20 euros. Now, ultimately, the calculation will end up with an average of 15 euros per month just using the value pack. Now, why do you need a value pack? Because if you don't have a value pack, all items sold on the market will literally just, like, tax you for up to, like, I think 35% or something. Like, sorry. Uh, yeah, you, you're, you're basically getting 35% less money then if you like uh if you have like the value pack is just gonna be like um uh, i think like 15 percent uh tax on the items so like say if you if you got uh something that is like uh, 100 million without the value pack you're getting 65 million with the value pack you would get something like uh i don't know 85 or something so like that's that's the difference and that's literally on everything you sell which is absolutely insane. So like basically, as long as you're paying for the value pack, you just make more money than everyone else on every single sale. Uh, then you also got a shit ton of stuff on here. So like basically, it's, it's, the game is almost unplayable with this shit. Now there's workarounds. People can just uh, sell the items and pick up the money uh, when they just get this... Uh, one day value pack on the loyalties and just gather up loyalties i actually don't even see where it is oh there it is now you got value pack for a day you just need to wait two weeks to get your loyalties up to 2800 and you buy a one day value pack and you just sell everything in that one day and that's kind of a workaround even though like the value pack is still good uh, in other manners like it gives you a little bit of exp for life skilling uh, it gives you um, like some weight limit, 200 weight extra, 16 uh, inventory and slot spaces. Uh, you can customize your character unlimitedly. Uh, you can, uh, it gives you a daily item collection scroll. So like this scroll you use in order to get better drops. So like it's, it, it's insane, bro. You're, you're paying like, this is a subscription pretty much 15 euros a month just to be like, uh, like it's i don't know just to not be handicapped at this point so i i'm not sure how can people say this is not pay to win it's just pay to convenience when having all of those things that i mentioned like there's a lot more going down but like just having all of the stuff i've mentioned until now already puts you at like a silver advantage by far especially like it, it gets even worse if you're not only a whale, but you're also like playing the game regularly or like obsessively even. And then like, obviously you, you just keep going, you get, you get the value pack and then you have other packs as well. You know, like th those are bullshit. I did. But like maiden bottlers as well. You can get a shit ton of those. I don't think there's even a cap for those. I, I know people that have over 40 maybe even over 50, I don't even know if there's a cap. Basically, this lets you interact with the marketplace and with the storage from far away. You no longer have to go to the storage NPC or marketplace NPC, as long as you have mates. The more you have, the more you can do. One mate can only uh, do a transaction with this much, uh, like with this many items or this amount of weight. So basically, if you have like, uh, say, 50 maids, you're most likely going to be able to do whatever transaction you want whenever you want it without having like uh, any problems, which helps you a lot. Like, again, this uh, boosts your uh, amount of time on the grind spot. Uh, this helps you out like uh, to, you're not wasting time going from place to place anymore. 
or it's like every single time you need to use the marketplace or something normally you would just have to walk all the way to the uh, market npc for example if yeah if you need to use the storage every single time you have to go to the storage npc well this cuts say like two minutes uh three minutes five minutes depending where you are uh from that time you know like every single transaction it's like two to five minutes it's absolutely crazy and if that shit adds up in a year and again you get those for free from time to time but one person can just come and have like more than you will ever get in just one day if you want to have those for free and you want to have like a good chunk of them so that it's like very useful to you you would need to wait out months maybe years like I've, I've been going at it for years i've had gaps where i didn't play for sure and i have like 15 of each so i'm in a in a sweet spot right now i didn't pay for like uh any of them but like if you start right now it's gonna take a lot of time before you get on my shoes you know um so yeah this is another way in which you can get like uh fairy now the fairy is absolute insanity first of all if you get a tier 4 fairy uh you will get a, like let me show you so there's um uh, you you got all of those um like skills the fairy has for you on different levels the only way you can reset those skills in order to get the highest possible level so you get like the good stats from the fairy basically and the, in order to also you also need to reset in order to, the, to get the correct skill as well in order to do that you need to pay like there's no other way you have to pay pearls in order to reset because like the orbs for resetting those skills can only be bought in the pearl shop so basically if you go here travel aid fairy you got the teas orb and you need five of those if you're a fairy is tier four max level to reset your uh skill and then there's like a random chance you know the probability but there's a random chance for you to actually get the right skill and then there's a, like even a random chance for you to get it at the correct level so basically you're kind of like if you don't have the perfect fairy from the get-go it's gonna cost you real life money to make it or there's like an incredibly tedious and slow version in game in which you can just like take fairies and grow them and slowly craft them and see if it, it, if they got the right uh, skills if not you gotta repeat but you're like super gated because you need a shit ton of uh, lila's petals let me see how many i got uh, so i got like a 186 of those you rarely get any of those like you will be grinding for a shit ton and also I think I exchanged about like more than a thousand of those and I didn't even get one tier 4 fairy. Like you, you can exchange those and you can exchange the fairies after for like some other items if your fairy is already perfect. Like mine is perfect so I use uh, those just to get a little bit extra money. But basically this is what's going on. Like the fairy is absolutely like it. First of all it increases your weight by 25% technically. Uh, second of all, you can revive for free every other hour. Uh, sorry, every every, uh, every single hour, sorry. Uh, and then you can also have it like automatically use HP pots and mana pots for you. Uh, you can also make her just like uh, activate buffs for you at a, like whatever interval. Like it, it, whatever the interval on the item is. So for example, you're... Uh, this buff expires after uh, like 15 minutes uh, the fairy is just gonna activate it uh, uh, so i don't have to think about it and it can do this with 20 items so like the, your basically the entire rotation is done by the fairy and then like again all of this shit is like insanely hard to do in game for free and it takes a shit ton of time to do or unless you get lucky or one guy can just come and get it in one day and be done with it, you know? Like, sure, the, the guy is still gated with getting, like, the like the tier uh, 4 uh, fairy, first of all. But, like, 
I feel like everyone struggles with that, but from there on, the guy is in a huge advantage compared to everyone else. Now, the fairy is gone. That's also paid to win. Clearly, you, you're paying, you're getting all of that shit. You're gonna be ahead of everyone else that doesn't have that. Even for a little bit, even if it's just a tad bit, but it's not. Like, the fairy is absolutely incredible. Uh, then you got, uh, like, stuff like for, for outfits. Now you're gonna say, well, outfits what do you mean with outfits aren't outfits just for looks and stuff no they're not outfits are also paid to win because first of all um you can actually buy them and melt them for cron stones and you get a great amount of cron stones from them so like right now i believe if you buy a premium outfit um which is like 3400 pearls if you buy a premium outfit and you melt it, you get like about 800 to 900 the uh, cron stones. Now, cron stones are used to prevent your items for, from either downgrading if it's armors or completely getting deleted if it's uh, about accessories. So cron stones are huge. You're upgrading your item. Well, that's a fail proof, basically. Uh, so having an item in the pearl shop which literally allows you to get your hands on those stuff which you can use to prevent the item from going poof or like from downgrading is nuts so someone that can come in and buy like uh as many uh costumes as they want could literally just make all of their items as long as it's like not accessories because accessories can still downgrade with crown stones but like at least the armors like a huge whale could just get all of the armors done in like one day or something like they could just try hard this shit in a week they're like full pet armors um also uh basically if you don't care about crons and you don't want to use crons and upgrade because like the upgrade system is shit or whatever you can sell the costumes and you are capped surely like the the costumes you're selling uh is are capped at like 35 costumes per week per week not per month so you can sell 35 costumes every single week which uh every single costume is about like 2 billion right now i don't even know let's write a outfit uh let's see uh, we got a random outfit here it's like one billions like oh but those are like the basic ones i think the premium ones are closer to two billions right so like basically those costumes all of them so like you can see there's none for sale so they, they'll instantly buy especially on eu right that i'm just specifically talking about eu i don't have the experience of other places but uh the pearl like the pearl shop looks similar uh, in all like uh spots like i'm not sure what is it just one billion let's see uh premium let's just write premium no the premium ones look look the premium ones are two billion sorry yeah so this is what i'm talking two billion so you buy premium outfits and you sell 35 so that's like 70 billion a week just from swiping, bro. Now, uh, let's go see uh, the Boreca Necklace. The Boreca Necklace is one of the late game items. Most people want to get their hands on this shit. So first of all, in one week, he can already purchase a Tet the Boreca Necklace without any issues. Like... So they get uh, around 60 something billion from selling the costumes and the Deboreca necklace is 63 billion right because like they it, it it you calculate the tax after they sell the costume and you pick the the money up and it's gonna probably be close to a Ted Deboreca necklace in one week and then you have like four weeks a month let's say right four weeks multiplied by seven that's uh literally a panda brick almost like you're in one month of selling just costumes and swiping he can literally just buy a panda brick and there's two sitting on the market right now it's so like right now you someone could actually do it anyway i digress let's keep going uh that's so like that's literally buying silver that's it it's it's a it's a means of buying silver 
they uh, use the costumes as a means for uh, whales to buy silver in game. Uh, and the, the costumes are not only silver, but there's also an efficient way to getting crowns, like I said earlier. So it's like, it's like double the shit right there. And also like costumes look great, while most, if not all, armors in game look kind of shit. And like, you know armors in game look kind of shit when most people wear a freaking costume wherever I go. I rarely see someone wearing in-game costumes, unless it's like the really grindy, hard to get ones, like I don't know, the new Varicant or like the lower Zek. I see a few people wearing that. But let's be fair, I, most people I see, they wear some freaking pearl outfit. Uh, and to be fair, uh, most of them probably didn't pay for it though. Like if it's just about aspect, the way the character looks, you know, that's uh, that's like they're gonna give you at least one for free they they're giving one for free right now actually so yeah that if it's just for looks you can get your hands on one but still if it's for uh money or for anything else you will most likely pay to get silver in game or like to advance so like it's literally pay to win so i know i'm not sure how people go on and they look at this shit and they're like yeah, bro, you know what? Uh, this is actually not pay to win, bro. It's it's pay for convenience. And like right now, I'm going through every single shit because I, I think it's just like there's not just one or two things. There's a shit ton of stuff here. Uh, you also got like uh, pets. Pets. Like if you don't have your pets, like you don't have a tier five and uh, four tier fours, you're literally behind everyone else because like especially if you're playing any class that's not in a wheelchair okay if you're playing any class that's like at least decent at the game you will feel the difference sometimes your pets will be so slow that you live uh you leave stuff behind as you're grinding the, and there's no way you're gonna get tier 4 pets, like full tier 4 and a tier 5, anytime soon. Like, you just started, you're gonna have 5 tier 1 pets, that's it. If you're lucky, there's an event, you might make one of the pets tier 3, or if you're unlucky, it's gonna be tier 2. So, it's absolutely nuts, like, pets are paid to win. Pets pick up the items from the on the floor, and... It just reduces the like how fast they pick up the item from like tier one, which I believe is like every four seconds or something like 3.6 seconds down to like what two seconds. So it's like almost twice as fast. That's absolutely incredible. Like basically, uh, if you're as fast as I am in and, and we're like actually just killing mobs insanely fast, I will make double the money just because i have the better pets and uh someone that has money can just buy them and make the pets uh literally like tier 4 and tier 5 like a tier 5 you make it in game with silver but you need uh five tier 4s and you can make one of the tier 4s a tier 5 with in game silver so that's how it works and like and this is not all like well we we also got like uh wait where is it uh function we like wait we got the tent. tent where is it camping tool or what is it called camp no there we go nafart campsite this shit is five thousand pearls by the way which uh would translate to uh 50 euros so it's almost as expensive as a whole game and basically, I don't blame them. This kind of makes the whole game for you after you buy it. So first of all, uh, normally, if you don't have this, you have to go back in town to repair your items when they break. And as I said earlier, without branding your items using the pearl item, you would have to go all the way back every single hour. Uh, in most places, let's say. So like every single hour, you'd have to repair your items. Uh, you would have to walk all the way to the blacksmith or like to a stable boy and uh, just repair your stuff. With the tent, you can just 
plant something nearby where you're uh, grinding and just uh, interact with it and you repair your shit. This is the tent. The tent also gives you um, remote villa buffs. Uh, the tent also gives you an item drop rate buff. So if you pay real life money to get the tent, which is a one time purchase, you get extra drop rate in exchange for silver. That's fucking pay to win. What, what else is pay to win? If you combine the tent with uh, Old Moon book, Secret of Old Moon book, you can actually get villa buffs from the tent and you don't even need a villa invitation. So, uh, translation, this means you're spending less time. So, like, every single thing is literally giga pay to win. And, like, it's, uh, the tent is super expensive as well and you, you kind of need it. Like, most people you'd ask would say that the tent is kind of mandatory because it makes your life so much easier it gives you a basic buff if you have old moon you can get villa buff which is much better than the basic buff like i said you can get the villa buff without the tent but it's just you're cutting like 10 minutes out of your uh every single week by just having the old moon plus the tent every single time and just adds up and it adds up uh it's a lot more convenient uh, if you have the old moon book which is also like it, it's also a subscription like old moon book and Kama Sylvia tree are all like kind of like the value pack each give you a specific thing that is super convenient that you would want to buy and if you have it you have an advantage over others so pay to win in this case, I said it's the, the tent stuff. You also get wharf and stable slots which for all regions, which boosts like bartering and uh, like uh, horse training for some life skillers. It also gives you some combat EXP and life EXP. The 50 life EXP is huge. Um, you also get like, uh, again, you get uh, the skill preset. You can change it in save zone and stuff every 10 minutes. There you have it. Uh, Kama Sylvia tree. Uh, you have the Kama Sylvia tree. You get item drop rate. So you are buying item drop rate. You got you're buying energy recovery. You you regenerate energy faster. You make the maids more efficient. You make. Um, your marketplace have like a lot more weight so you can add more trash into your marketplace like this is fucking huge you're paying real life money for this shit again they do give it for free sometimes but you're gonna run out especially those buffs run out you won't have them all the time so basically you're, you're just you're losing out like someone with 20 more item drop rate for every single hour of his life with uh this energy regeneration with the, the better maids and everything and they combine with everything else at the same time he's gonna have a huge advantage over you like if if i start a new account now and i'm racing with a noob that doesn't pay any like one penny in this game I would be like 700 gear score in probably like, I don't know, two weeks or some shit. If I, if I was a huge whale, if I would just take my fat stack of like 50k dollars, that's exactly how it would look. So like, yes, BDO is pay to win and it has multiple pay to win stuff. And like, they have worked on improving some sp like specific parts of the pay to win. But some have gotten worse. Recent increase in price for uh, like premium outfits made pay to win even higher when you, you, you're going to buy outfits and sell them on the market. Um, now the question a lot of people go like defending the game. Like when they defend the game they just go like okay but uh, it's really expensive and not a lot of people like it doesn't matter bro. It doesn't matter how many people can do this. It's just the fact that you can and it's out there and it's like so clear and easy. That's the problem. 
it doesn't really matter that just like i don't know three percent of all players will be able to do this it doesn't really matter the what, what matters is that anyone who has like a bigger wallet than you uh, that has like a like a significant wallet as well right we're just we're not talking about just bigger than you we're just talking about like a significant amount right and just do any of this at any time there's a lot of people that can't afford the tent because there's a lot of Europeans that don't have 50 euros to spend on a stupid item inside of the game. It's literally the truth. Like, yeah, they might be kids. Some of them might have like uh, shitty jobs or something. Doesn't matter. But it's like a lot of the shit is expensive. So like paying your monthly subscription with the value pack and then having to get a lot of a bunch of other stuff as well. And yeah, sure, the game is free. I get that. But like technically it's not. You technically do have like a like a subscription. And the subscription is 15 euros. That's a lot of money for it. Like every single player paying 15 euros, if that would be the case, that would be crazy. And uh let's be serious. A lot of people spend more than uh like 15 euros monthly. I'm talking about the guys that actually spend. So it's and how do you think the game still functions the game functions because there is somebody paying that amount of money if you think there's nobody i'm sorry to tell you but that's how they're like you know that's how they're uh bringing in all those crazy uh updates from time to time and like yeah the updates are kind of shitty from time to time as well but that's a completely different video but yeah if you if you thought that uh the game is not pay to win well there you have it it is pay to win and if you were wondering like if you want to play the game and you were wondering if it is yes it is and that doesn't mean the game does not function because it's paid to win like most of the times uh the pay to win guys don't really interact with you if you don't pvp you won't even see them and you, you shouldn't even care about them but at the same time they do exist and it's good to acknowledge that the game is in fact paid to win i i think most korean games are paid to win and in, in a similar sense as well i feel like lost ark is also paid to win right so you even have like american like uh mmos like world of warcraft and shit coming out as pay to win lately so i'm sorry bro but the game is just literally paid to win there's no debate about like uh like how paid to win it is or whatever that doesn't matter like it is paid to win it's not paid to convenience it's it's not literally not paid to win because you do get a lot of advantages anyway this was the video i hope you all have a great time uh don't forget to leave a like if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye